Fox News' Dave Kinchin is live in Fraser. Dave, I know you were there today, a solemn night for so many. Yeah, very solemn. So many emotions in the air, people feeling so much. Tonight, though, was a chance to process, but really try to remember the good times as one united community. A vigil organized by the youth of Fraser for one of their own, with candles, balloons, and signs, all spoke fondly of a teenage boy they called Trent, who died earlier this week after a stabbing attack that involved several teens, according to investigators. A GoFundMe page has been set up for 14-year-old Trent Redstrom as the community ponders so many questions, but tonight is about healing and processing. He is really, he was a really good kid. Um, and it's just really sad to see them all have to be without this great friend they all had. Um, he's a very funny kid, too. My daughter says he's he just put on a show for everybody. So, yeah, he's going to be greatly missed. Police say it all happened at a home on Garfield near Klein. Sources say a group of teens barged in with knives before an altercation took place. Three were stabbed. Trent died. Others were hospitalized. Three juveniles were taken into custody while prosecutors reviewed evidence, and no one can make any sense of this. I just feel for all the parents, you know, not just Trent's, but the other parents as well. I feel for all of them. I would hate to get that phone call. Um, I don't think I could go through something like that, so I give them um, a lot of respect. The tragedy forced the Fraser District to lock down schools before it was clear there was no further danger to the public. And for some here, it's the first time they say they've seen any violence of this kind in their neck of the woods. It was just so close to home now, you know, you hear about it in the other states, other cities, whatever, um, but when it's in your own town, it's, it's terrifying. Meantime, police continue to investigate. They're working with the prosecutor's office, and many in the community have told us this week they really hope they can find out more information from the investigators to find out exactly what led up to all of this, but certainly the investigation being handled carefully at this time. Reporting live in Frazier, Dave Kinchin, Fox 2 News. Yeah, Dave, with young people, you know that oftentimes they're talking, whether it be in person or social media. Someone at school perhaps has some information. I imagine investigators want to hear from them. Yeah, and I think they're working with the school district to do that, too, to really nail all that down. And often when these types of things happen, as you said, uh, police will track social media, really try to put all of this together, look for clues wherever they can find them. Yeah, so many people are remembering this special person here. Dave Kinchin, Forest Live, thank you.